And three, two, one. Hey guys, what's up? Kirito MC coming at you with the third video of the night, which is actually really strange because I never do three videos in one night. Actually, Anthony, did I ever do? Yeah. Okay, max, max you've done is like two at least. Yeah, the max I've done is actually like two in one night. Yeah. Oh look, Mango's actually alive. I didn't know that. Alrighty. So, um, as you guys know, I was just talking about coding in the last live stream. Yeah, the guy who quit. You don't remember? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah. So, um, I'm back with another live stream. Now, in the last live stream, I was talking about coding languages. And I'm pretty sure that I've also mentioned a million times that I have a Minecraft server. And it is awesome. Like, it's going along perfectly. The only thing that me and our host have to fix is our FTP transfer problems. Um, don't worry, those will be fixed pretty soon. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, um, I'm going to teach you guys about a plugin that actually allows for pretty awesome things to happen on your server without actually having to use plugins. Um, oh jeez, oof, oof, hold up, hold up, I had a stream issue, accidentally logged out the website, alright, there we go, alrighty guys, so, shut up, shut up, it was a mistake, alright, that's Anthony, alright, so yeah, so, as you guys know, plugins are basically things that we use to improve our Minecraft server and enhance it beyond what it's normally capable of. So there's this one plugin called, that's called Script, um, and it's basically editing Minecraft without installing plugins, which I find pretty cool since I myself am still learning about Java. Um, so let's get straight into this video. First, what you want to do is you already want to have Minecraft your Minecraft server set up. Um, me, I will be using my old Curse Shadows. Um, file stuff, uh, which I've actually had, which is and will be all the files that are transferred to the new server. Um, so yeah, so what you want to do is, after you have your server set up and everything's going, and you have your plugins folder, you want to go look up script. And then it should bring you to, do not go to the bucket one, because the bucket one I think is outdated. Um, and go to the spigot one. Now, the spigot ones, I don't recommend either, um, because of their build um, date. So, do script GitHub, and it should bring you to, yeah, so it should bring you here. And then what you should see is another link, because I honestly just use the SKUnity Discord all the time. Uh, let's see. Paste. No, I didn't copy it. Okay. Copy. Paste. Alright. And then when you go to that GitHub, you should get another link. Geesh. Um, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is it? Alright, so if you guys are wondering what I'm looking for, there is a branch of this pull request. No. Jeez. Alright, hold up guys, um, I'm just going to go get the link myself. Uh, so, this is an SK Uni the SKUnity Discord. SKUnity is an add-on of script that is pretty good. Um, so, I'm just going to type down, and then uh, Bensu's fork. Let's see if I can go here. And then, ah uh, shoot, that doesn't give me a link. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, two man, two fork. All right. So in the meantime, before I get him to respond, um, what else you're gonna need is this is pretty much what it's about. It's um, an add-on to script called Vixo, and Vixo allows chat gateways between Minecraft and Discord. Um, so, is my bot even up? Yes, so this alpha bot right here. 
Um, it is not able to do that because of the version of Vixo I have. It's a donator version that we get early before every new version is released. Called... Haha, <laughs> you really thought I was going to tell you? No. Not... No. Just no. Good try. I, thought, I actually thought you were going <laughs> to... Nope. I wasn't going to say it. Never. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can get a freaking link. Because I need the link to this. Um. Ooh, here it is. Let me jump to this. Alright. And here's the link that you guys will be using. Um. Let me see if it actually works, though, because sometimes it's an automatic uh, direct. What? No, I did not copy that. CCPS. Script.jar. Copy. And paste. No. What? No. What is going on here? Oh, because it's a download link. Shoot. Alrighty. Well, we're having technical difficulties. Alrighty. Here we go, guys. Shh, Jesus. Thanks. Jeez. Alrighty. After years of waiting, uh, we can get rid of this. And I will throw this in the description right now. Uh, shoot. Nope. Wrong place. Uh, script. Download. Now, the reason I'm saying use this instead of the actual real plugin version is because the author doesn't have that much time to update script. So, I think it's his friend or something. Let me see. Uh, this is the guy who develops it. And I think this is the guy who made it. I don't know. Um, but this is the guy who does the um, branches, I think. I don't really know. And, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to go to that link. Um, honestly, I didn't go to the link myself. You want to go here. And you want to click the newest one so it's definitely that so just click that and download it and then what you want to do next is um let me see if i can can i get a link to that a v i s think so yes i can get a link to that awesome um no oh, shoot freaking all right there we go Oh my gosh. Alright, go back to the internet browser, see what I get out of that. So help me, I hate that. Um, and let me make sure this link actually works. Yes, this link actually does work. Okay, so it'll stay tailored. It will take you straight to the newest download. And yeah, so uh, script download. And then Vixel download. Uh, no, this is not the new, this is not the next version. This is the version that everybody uses, but all of us. Ha 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 still not releasing anything. So, after you download both of those, go to your... No, screw him. I'm sick and tired of him. Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to go to your plugins... And drag it in there. See, most of this stuff is just like a whole bunch of add-ons for script. Um, there are some things that I do need to get rid of, that I do need to get rid of, like Light API. That was for a script that I actually did for some money a while back. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, most of these are just for development. Um, and yeah, so what you should get is Vixel 1.1.5. So, after you get that, you want to start up your server and reload. Now, after you do that, what you want to do is, to get started, you want to log into your discord.com slash developers. So, discord.com slash developers. And what you want to do is, you will see this, go to my apps and log in. See, I don't really mind if you guys know my email, because you guys could always just send me money. Ha 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 ha. Well, your Shut up! It doesn't matter. I have like three other. I have like three other accounts. T U T O T U T O R I L. So tutorial. Um, 
so yeah so once you do that click new app click add and then you can do this um i'm not really going to give it a picture it doesn't need one in my opinion um and there's also not a picture i can give it um yeah so just do create app and then once you're done what you want to do is scroll down and click create a bot user um click save just to make sure and then um don't worry this bot will like get instantly deleted so this token won't even work after it's done because i already have a, a bot that does all this so what you want to do is click token and you want to click and what you want to do next is um we should have done this earlier i'm sorry i just thought about it what you want to do is get a text editor now the two most common are notepad hold up notepad plus plus um which i will leave a link to in the description or you can use the one that i use and use sublime text uh sublime some sublime text is just another um text editor hold up let me get a link to that one too sublime is actually the best though in my opinion sublime text i use sublime text honestly oh yeah let's just use this link because this is the most accurate and um most developed link so you can use either one of those like i said i use sublime text here's my stuff uh, delete folder this actually had no purpose And you can use the free version. So that's honestly what I'm using right now as we speak. And I don't need to see that either. So, uh, close. Oh, shoot. Yeah. So, once you've done that, and all your stuff is downloaded, um, your script is installed, Vixo is installed, what you want to do is open whatever text editor you used, um, start up your server, so I'm using my start.bat and no my script there's no scripts in my folder even though I did save them somewhere else um you go you're gonna want to go to your script folder that was generated and you should have some scripts already done already see me I deleted mine when my server was first created so my folder is empty and the good thing about script is a lot it allows editing while you're in game so say you spot an error and you're like Dang, I don't want to restart my server though. Don't worry, you won't ever have to go through that. Script allows for instant fixes as long as your text editor is open, you save it, and you reload. So, my server has like a whole bunch of add ons that, um, that do this. Um, I'm pretty sure the most recommended add ons to use along with Vixo are Script, Mirror, and uh, S. Q S K S K query query yeah yeah so those are the most common too so once you open your text editor um you can save as it really doesn't matter I'm gonna call mine as tutorial T U T O R I tutorial bot and then um so yes script also runs off its own type of file um it runs off this thing called dot S K so you always want to save it as, as SK. You never want to save it as anything else because then it will not work properly. I cannot tell you how many times I've said that to a friend of mine. Um, so what you want to say, what you want to do is type in a file name. Tutorial bot will be mine. Dot SK. SK is necessary. So tutorial bot SK. Now I'm also using a color changer. Don't worry, it has nothing to do with you guys. I just like my preferences. So. What you want to do to get started is on script. Hold up. Did I do that right? Uh, let me see. On yeah, on script load. Um, you're gonna have to do either spaces or four spaces or one tab. So hold up. So after you're done that, you will press enter, and then you do tab. We should do one, two, three, four. Um, sometimes tabs have. Sometimes I have problems with tabs, so I just gonna try tabs. What you want to do is type login to user with token, and then you want to type what you want to do parentheses, 
So your parentheses, and then you want to go back to discord.com slash developers. Hopefully you did not close it. And you want to copy your token. And then you want to go back to your editor and put your token. Now before we go any further, um, just so we can see it when our bot starts up, you want to click this generate auth to URL. And then click administrator, copy, and paste that into your Discord or a new tab. And then log in. And then click login. And then it should bring you this menu right here. So your bot. And then you click a server, and I'm going to throw this in my bot testing server since it's clearly for bot testing. And just so we can get ahead of the game. So as you can see, my tutorial bot is loaded up right down here. Uh, so I'm going to give it this bot role so I can just easily see it show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it a new channel. T-U-T-O-R. Tutorial. And then I'm going to go to my tutorial channel. And get to work. Um, so yes. So let's keep an eye on that bot tutorial. Alright, so we can close this out. Um, keep this open if you want to. I, I don't see a purpose for it later. But now with your token copied, we need to finish this sentence. So we need to get out of these parentheses. With name. And then whatever name your bot's going to use. So me, mine's bot's going to use tutorial. T-U-T-O-R-I-L. Tutorial. So that's the name your bot's going to use. Um, you can use any name, doesn't matter. But yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open up my Minecraft now. I'm going to get rid of seeing OBS. I'm just going to hide it, because I think it looks sloppy. And what you're going to do is, I wonder, if I saved it, I don't know. Yeah, so what you want to do is save. And then I'm going to log into the server. So see, I made no changes. Um... Dang, it always overloads my encoding. I hate that. So see, it says 1 um, KB means you're still doing good. Let me check the website. Oh, I'm still doing good. Screw it. Uh, yeah, so what you want to do is start up Minecraft. Um, I'm actually going to lower mine out a little. Uh, yeah, sorry guys, I hate it when that happens too. Um, that's my Vixo2 server. What you guys want to do is you type in, huh? Oh, you want... Yeah. So what you guys want to do is type in localhost and see, like I said, mine's is already up. So I'm logging into my localhost, and as you can see, our bot is still not up, which means I haven't made any changes without you guys seeing. Just to show you, just to show you guys, that this is not a trick. This is all for real. So. When you get it in the game, there's two things you can do. Oh yeah, this is a spawn me and my friends built together. Me, Alex, and an old friend of mine. Um, Al Alex, do you, do you, uh, not Alex. Anthony, do you see a spawn? Right. Oh my goodness, never mind. You'll see it on the stream. So what you... Yeah, we have a spawn. You've been had a spawn for a while now. So what you guys want to do is... Yeah, yeah. So when you guys log on to the server, what you want to do is script re I think it's SK? SK reload. Yes, SK reload and then the name of your script. So mine's is T U T O R Tutorial Bot, I think. And then reload. Okay. I made an error somewhere. Oh, I forgot. Hold on. Shut up. It's on script. Hold on. Let me read this again. Script load. Oh, I see where I did wrong. Wow. I spelled with with an A. All right. I'm intelligent. All right. Let's try it again. All righty. So, as you can see, I get no errors. Let's go back to that Discord. And there you go. Tutorial Bot is now up. So, most of you guys are watching this video just to get this bot to chat Minecraft 
to chat Discord and Minecraft. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, you guys can close this page if you want. It's not necessary. Who's Flame Boy Gaming? I don't know who that is. Never mind. I'll figure it out later. So our tutorial bot is now up. So what you guys want to do next to get this bot to chat through Minecraft? You wanna go down here, backspace. Mm. Sorry. Um, and you want to do on chat one two three four or like I said tab send message. And then here's where things start to get tricky. Um, not sure if this will still work with Discord and all, but try two stars and the grave button. The grave button is right above the tab button on the American keyboard. If you're not American, then you've got a problem, my dude, because I don't know where that button would be. Haha. -ha. Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. All right, and then you want to type in... So, whenever you see these percent signs, it's, I think it's a variable. I think they're called variables. Sorry, I kind of forget. Uh, dot variables. Or, I typed that in wrong. But, yes, I'm pretty sure they're called variables. So, when you put something in a percent sign like this, it gives you a variable. So, there you go. You have to go back to English class, learn how to spell. Shut up. It was a mistake. Yeah, so what you guys want to do is, um, after that, you want to type percent message, and then another percent sign, and then your grave, and then two stars, and then you can leave your quotes, and these two channel, and this is going to specify what Discord channel you want to do. So if you want to be able to get Discord channels, what you want to do is go to your user settings and uh, streamer was enabled. Go to appearance. I'm going to do some. Oh my gosh, my eyes. What you guys want to do is click this developer mode option and kablam. So there you go. And now what you want to do is go to wherever you set this up, left click, and you'll see all these options pop up. Now you'll see a new one called Copy ID. Copy this ID and put quotation marks, parentheses, your channel ID in between the parentheses, and then your bot's name. So tutorial would be mine. Now, um, we can test that just to see if it works first. I mean, you can't really reply with Discord yet. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Um, hold up. I did something wrong again. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What did I do wrong? What's up the commands? Controls? Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. I keep forgetting my English. Crap. So after you do the channel, you want to type. So it's going to look like this on chat. Send a message, which will. And then I'll explain this right here. So this is going to be like your Discord chat format. Send whatever the Minecraft player's name is and his message to the Discord channel called or the Discord channel with ID, your channel ID here, as tutorial. So let's try that again. Save. And then script reload. Crap! What did I do wrong? Oh, it says it tells me you can't understand message. That's weird, because it's always been recognized before. Hmm. Maybe I jacked up somewhere. M-E-S-S-A-G-E. -S 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 oh, I see why. And because I had three E's, in, uh, three S's in message. Wow. Good job, Kirito. Good freaking job. All right, here we go. Now the bot was loaded with no errors. Oh, shut up, Anthony, before I... Because I know you're going to say something. <laughs> Hold up. I'm live streaming. YouTube. Can't tell. Let me see. Alright. Um, what was I doing? 
Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Um, you guys didn't hear that. General in my dev discord. Um, this guy is the head admin I was mentioning earlier. So, yeah, so what you guys want to do is to test it now. Testing one, two, three. And there you go. I told you. So that's what you guys should get. And you will see it. Kirito, test, Kirito MC testing one, two, three. Now, um, so what you guys want to do in order to get Discord to send to Minecraft, so I can show you that it won't work. I'll just type in all. And see, it won't send. So I'm just going to relog so I can get rid of my chat. And I'm just going to clean this up here so you guys can won't see any differences. So you want to go back to your text editor. Now this next part might be a little bit tricky, but bear with me. So what you want to do next is, this is going to be like a base for most of your Discord or Discord Vixel commands. Um, I guess I'll do a tutorial on some of those later, like embeds and stuff. But if you, mm, mm. Anthony, should I do those today or no? Yeah. Should I do like a mini Vixo tutorial today too or no? Mm. Depends on what time your mom's gonna come in and depends if it's quick or it's not quick. Like embeds are easy, but you yeah. gotta go. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Okay. I s yeah, guys, we'll do embeds in this video, too, and we'll do, like, maybe a custom command. All right, so let's get this um, Discord to Minecraft thing over with. So what you want to type is on guild message received. IV seen by your bot's name. So your bot name will go where I'm typing tutorial right now. Tab. And then... Um, what you want to do is, if event channel is, and then what you want to do is, you want to go back to Discord, copy that event channel, uh, welcome, welcome Kirito, Ki, 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 shoot, his name I trips me. Your own name. <laughs> I mean, no, because he spells it wrong, he spells it K-I-R-T-O, see, mine's is K-I-R-I-T-O, so it's Kirito. Thank you. But it just sounds the same. Yeah, so what you guys want to do is you want to copy this channel ID again, go back to your text editor, put it right between the quotation marks, and then what you want to do, this, you want to put one of those, um, press tab, and then you want to do, uh, so this is going to be like a Minecraft command string here. So B -R -O -A, broadcast, basically. Broadcast, and then quotation marks, and then you can do whatever you want to do. So me, um, I'll do AI module. So and 7 and L in brackets and 6. A, I. So I'm just going to type AI and 7 and L. Um, the reason I'm putting and 7s and Ls, those are basically Minecraft chat color codes. Um, you can look them up anywhere and still get like accurate answers. There's even formats for them. Um, L just makes anything that is touching bold. Um, 6 is gold, and 7 is like a light gray. And then you can type whatever you want to after this, so broadcast. So, basically what this will do is, when somebody types a message in that specific disc Discord channel, it'll send whatever message you want, the, want it to to Minecraft. But usually it'll send the message that the user types in Discord. So, in order to do that... You want to finish your string. So what you're going to do is... Oh, before we keep going with that. A string is something that's usually typed in parentheses. I'm sorry, quotation marks, like we're doing right now. So these channels, string. Bot name, string. This token, string. This, whatever I'm about to type, string. So what you want to do is... You want to put your... Never mind, screw what the name is. And then what you want to do is you can do... Space or no, it's going to register regardless, but I'm going to do and 7. And then percentage signs, event string, 
because this is sending from Discord, so this is the point in time where you will need event stream. Normally, you won't, and I'll show you an example of those in, as soon as we're done this. And then what you want to do is, and seven parentheses, Discord name of event user. And then that will finish your quotation marks. And then um, this next part isn't really necessary. Um, so I just won't add it. It was another part that I made to my code. It was an else if statement. But uh, you guys don't know about those yet. So what I'm going to do is um, script reload T-U-T-O-R-I-L tutorial bot. Here we go. So there were no errors loading it. So as to see, just to make sure, make to make sure it's working, test. All right, and then testing, testing, one, two, three, and then let's see if it's sent. And there you go, my AI mod. Oh, okay, I, I thought it sent twice for some reason. And yeah, there you go. So it will send just like that, so AI, Testing, testing, one, two, three, and it even shows who sent the message. So, um, I'm pretty sure nicknames do not work on it. Um, Kirito, you know that if you're still in this, um, you know my bot testing room, do you think you could go there and type a message in tutorial just so we can show them that this works? Oh, what's up, Fernando? Yeah, uh... And here we go. Yep, so there you go, guys. As Kirito types in stuff behind me, so ho, my name is Jeff. Oh, wow, that sounded so wrong coming from me. And then there you go. It, appe <laughs> it appears right there in the Minecraft chat. And it, like I said, it shows who sent it. So that's going to be our Minecraft to Discord and Discord to Minecraft. Um, thank you, Kirito, for showing us that. Um... And now what we're going to do is custom Discord commands. Now, these commands I recommend doing in another channel. I'm going to make a category for this because I have that one set to a specific bot. So, tutorial. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm just going to change the token after this because I might keep up with these tutorials. I think I enjoyed this. So, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to edit this channel. Tutorial, MC, and then Discord. Ah, oh, that sucks. MC and Discord. So that should be set. And then I'm just going to do an actual tutorial. T-U-T-O-R-I-L. Tutorial. So here's where we're going to be typing all our stuff. now. So what you want to do next. Um, so basically for custom commands. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Which one should we do? Like, I have a whole bunch. Oh, embeds. I did promise us to start doing basic embeds. So, an embed is basically like this M equals help. M help? Yeah, so that's an embed. Now, that is a pretty bad embed. So, no, that's not an embed. Um, see if I can. Find anybody to get me an embed. Oh, you know what? Alphabot is up. So Alphabot is a, another bot that I use on another server. And this. Fail. Help. Try again. Take two. That, what just shot up from my bot, that is an embed, folks. So we will be figuring out how to do that right now. So go back to your text editor. And what you want to do is on guild message received seen by whatever your bot's name is tutorial oh tab or whatever you're using set and then this is going to be something that we also call um, these are different types of variables um, so you have local and global so local are applied to the I'm not I don't want to say paragraph but I'm finding a lack of a better term in your 
statement. So local are strictly staying in your statement. Global can be applied anywhere. So say I had another script on the server. One script could be used in tandem with another script, I think. Don't quote me on that. But also if you lose if you use global variables, say right up here I put a local variable and somewhere down the line, like maybe all the way on line five thousand, I put that local variable again and I set it to something up on line one, it will still register. So this one here, we're going to be doing a local variable since we only need this in one place. So local variables are assigned with underscores. So let's get right back to this. So you want to type args and then star. And then what you want to do, event to, then you want to do to event string split at, um, I forgot what the whole split at is about. I think that's like, if it was like certain, if the command was split up into two parts. I don't remember um, specifically, but sorry. And then we're going to do another local variable, C-O-M-M, -C command, to args1. So this will be setting whatever, sec, whatever command we set this to with an argument. So basically... An argument would be plus help. That would be our argument. I just did that for no reason. Don't roast me for that. So, um, I don't know why this is here. Two args, one. And then remove. And then remove that local variable. So, basically, how we did this up here, this stands for infinity. I think. I don't remember. Don't quote me on anything. Except for the stuff that we already did. So, this would... This will make args1 separate it from args infinity. So we would do remove args1 from args infinity. I'm just going to call it infinity because I'm used to it being called infinity. And here's where the good stuff starts to happen. So what you want to do, if command... Oh, shoot. All right, that would have been an error. If command starts with and then um normally i would if this was actually java i would specify a prefix but i don't know how you would do that in vixel so what you want to do is pick a prefix any prefix i'm going to use the plus sign no let's not use the plus sign i'm going to use the exclamation point ex yeah ex exclamation mark i said point I said exclamation point. I'm triggered. I'm going to do exclamation mark and help. Then what you want to do is put your that thing on my jiggy, and then you want to do a tab clear embed help. So there you go. That's your first thing that you need. Then you want to actually make the embed. So you want to type in make embed. And then put your string. So your string would be your name. So I'm, this is going to be the help string. Then you want to set the title. So set title of M, embed. And then you want to specify which embed you're talking about. So help to help list. Or whatever you want to do it. Then I can set the color of the embed, set color of embed, don't forget to specify it, so embed help to, I think it accepts just names, yeah, so string and then red. And then what you want to do next, uh, add field, so this would add like a line to your embed, so add field, you name it whatever, I'm going to call it command list, command list, and then this, and then type with value, uh, let me remember, let me see if I remember this correctly, I think it's with value, and then you want your string here, plus help, oh yeah, yeah, so this is basically where you can start typing all your commands and stuff. So like this won't run it again, 
This will just show you like what your certain commands are, but you have to specify them in your add field. So then you would go help, and then I'm typing for this will show this message. So I'm just telling them that if they do that, it's going to show them this message. Um, also, if you were, if you didn't want to, like, every time just make a new field, because I know that can get pretty old, what you can do is percentage new line, or NL, and then keep on typing. So I'm going to do plus owner, even though the owner command hasn't been made yet. So I'm just going to do uh, null. Um, null is basically just telling you that something won't work, but that's only in, like, other programs. Null doesn't work. And then you can finish that off. And to finish this off, I will... We need to send this to a channel. So send embed, and then specify your embed again, so help, to channel... And then what you want to do is, see, you don't always have to specify a channel. So what you can do is, you don't want, you don't want uh, parentheses or percentage signs here. <sighs> yeah. What you want to do is, type event, e -V -E, event channel, so wherever it happened, with... And then your bot name, so T U T O R I L. And then what you want to do is save. And then go back to Minecraft. Script reload to. Shit. Alright, I had an error. Um, so what line was it on? And the good thing about script is it tells you what line you made your error on. So I made mine on line 14. On guild message received, seen by tutorial. Guild message received to see by a tutorial. What did I do wrong? Let me see. On guild. Oh. Yeah, so um, pretty much it just runs off common English. And uh, some it's kind of easy to spell, overspell stuff. Um, so yeah. And then what you want to do is, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. Let me see. That NL should have worked. Unless I don't have the right thing installed on the server. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see what my errors were. Invalid amount or placement in brackets. Make sure that each bracket... Oh, args1 from args. Okay, so... Yeah, so this should... Be here like that. Okay. So um, the way I also do my stuff is I fix up one error at a time. It's just the way I am. Um, I don't know why this NL is not working. So I'll just get rid of it. But normally it works. So let me reload this and oh, hold up, help. Um, and then I need my quotation marks at the end to finish it off. And boom. Oh, what the... Add field command list. Oh, what? Hold up. Hmm. <laughs> I might actually have to go to the official Vixel Discord channel for this. Um, so let me go here, bot testing, and I forgot. Um, field fields. No, yeah, fix. Yeah, so there we go. Add field. Okay, so here's the actual thing. Um, so I'm just here to help you guys simplify this. Uh, 
Um, so I'm going to go back here and erase this and replace it with this. Add field and then... Okay, yeah, so that's where I jacked up on this. Add field and then so command list with value... Um, I think the with value part is where you want to put your stuff. So what you want to do is quotation marks, grave marks, plus help, and then put my, and then split true to embed, embed, and then you want to do uh, whatever the name of your embed is. So help. I'm not sure if this will work. Um, okay, uh, would I not put my quotation marks? Oh, and I put them there. Okay. Um, it doesn't show any errors, but, yeah, there we go. Alrighty, guys, finally, after, what, 46 fucking minutes. I have no idea what you wanted me to do, Dev. Wait, Dev, who who are you again? Like, I did not catch it. Who are you, my guy? Um, yeah. Kir Kirito, I do watch my stream chat. I'm just, you know, doing this. Doing what I do best. Being weird. Oh, you know what? I got sidetracked from everything I was supposed to be doing. Alright, so let's go here. Let's go to tutorial. And I think I made the prefix help. And there you go, guys. So, you guys have successfully made your first by embed. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else that's really that important this time around. Um, there's a link to the Vixo channel in, um... In the description below, if you guys want to learn more about Vixo, um, I'm this probably won't be a series. This is probably just a one-time thing, cause I mean it's pretty easy to get the hang of. Um, and yeah, so if you guys really enjoyed this, um, let me know if you guys want me to do like more things on script. Um, I have a couple of things that I do have planned for the future. Um. And like I said, tutorial bot is going bye bye because it's just not necessary to have around. Um, because I have a couple other bots. So yeah. But thanks for watching. Um, and if you do join our Discord channels, all you have to do well the bot's not up right now. But all you would technically have to do is you would have to do um star.ip. So it'd be like this. And it will give you my server's IP. Um, but service currently down for repairs, so it won't, I mean, it just won't work. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and, um, tune in next time to, I don't know, probably see 